It could be the most widely used technology in the world. It's called geospatial technology. And tonight, a group of powerful St. Louisans unveiled a plan to make us the geospatial capital of the country and bring billions in business and jobs to our region. Our Casey Nolan was there for the unveiling and reports this plan already has a head start. Casey. Mike and Ann, if you've ever Googled an address, maybe called an Uber or tried that Find My Phone app, then you have used what is called geospatial technology. Tonight, here at the Chase in the Central West End, a group of leaders were betting that that could be a key to St. Louis's future. Let's face it, you want to be where the action is. And the action right now is in St. Louis. Thursday night, this Chase Park Plaza ballroom was the place to be for St. Louis CEOs and politicos at the regional chamber's annual meeting. But more than just glad handing, this group is planning how to make the region the place to be for any company working with geospatial technology. When you think about the applications that are added on almost a daily basis on your smartphone, almost all of them are geospatial based. I don't think we can predict the impact that this is going to have on our lives in the future. Tonight is really important because St. Louis is taking a huge step forward to commit to its future. Under the hashtag GeoFutures, a group of leaders from businesses, governments, and universities rolled out a vision for how St. Louis can be the center of geospatial innovation for the entire country, bringing hundreds of billions of dollars in investment and jobs to the St. Louis region over the next couple of decades. And they say it can be done because they've done it before. You only have to go back 20 years ago when a group of leaders, just like those in this room tonight, made a commitment to say we are gonna be one of the global centers of excellence for biotech and agricultural technology. And just think where we're at today. That gave us Cortex, and it's now home to 5,000 new jobs, including Microsoft's newest global innovation hub. The GeoFutures group is optimistic because they have about a $2 billion head start in the new NGA headquarters that's close to breaking ground. The federal mapping agency is already luring companies from other cities and countries to St. Louis. It's a magnet, it's a draw. Just like this technology is something that just about everyone uses, this group says this economy that they're envisioning, they want that to be for everyone too. And they say that inclusion starts with where the NGA is being built, a part of North St. Louis that has not seen much investment over the past several decades. Live in the Central West Inn, Casey Nolan, five on your side.